What is going on guys and welcome back to the channel. When we last left off, we we're waiting on our clutch disc and it is finally here. We got it sitting on the bench right here. The new, hopefully correct clutch disc to go with our nice new pressure plate. And let's see where we left off. Axles are still in cause I'm not draining all the fluid. I'm going to probably just pop an axle out and drain out whatever it's going to drain out. I have about a quart, maybe a quart and a half of MT90 sitting over there on the bench. So I'll be able to refill whatever I lose. I'm going to start pulling the axles. We're going to get this transmission dropped, get that new clutch installed. a considerable amount of fluid coming out. I didn't want to lose too much, so I went ahead and shoved a clean rag in there. Should hold just fine. So at this point, I've already pulled the slave cylinder off and the bolt on the back side, on the block side of the transmission. Just have the bolts on the top to go, and then the whole thing's gonna drop right out. So I'm gonna get set up for that. My rags are starting to leak fluid, or seep fluid, really. So I'm gonna try to do this as quick as possible so that I can get everything back in, get the axles back in, and not lose too much fluid. Wish me luck. Here is the disc. Pretty shiny. Pretty shiny. We're gonna throw this one on. It's our new guy. And our nice new disc. Friction material for days. Look at that. Oh yeah. It's got the new throw bearing on. Clip is seated correctly, if you guys can see that. But yep. That's on. I wanna go ahead and get the clutch put on and uh, get it torqued down. pressure plate that I remember. All right, now all our bolt holes should line up. Per the manual, the clutch pressure plate torque spec is 11 to 16 foot-pounds. So we're gonna go ahead and tighten them all to 15 foot-pounds. <laughs> our new pressure plate installed we get to bring the transmission back up and probably scratch the crap out of my nice red pressure plate which I mean it's not that nice it's you know, whatever but yeah it's about to be a lot of fun so hopefully this doesn't take too long I've had this take a really long time and I've had it take not so long let's see
Hopefully we got some good footage of that, but oh man, it took me about three tries. But on the final try, we got it. It's in there, I got the three bolts in. I still have to do the one on the back side, but I'm not really worried about that yet. Whew, I am like super sweating right now. I'm so glad that's done. And so I'll show you guys, this is kinda what I was doing. I made a bit of a mess under here, but pretty much just had my jack underneath the transmission and I balanced it in and got everything hooked up. So I got both axles slid back into place now. We have the new one over there on the passenger side. So now that that is done, I'm gonna take a quick break. I'm gonna go take a shower. We're gonna go out and get some food and then I might resume here tonight. Otherwise, I will catch you guys tomorrow. So we'll see you in just a few seconds. And we're back. It's a beautiful day. Finally have light in the garage, which is awesome because I've been working pretty much in the dark this whole time. So, let's see, where do we got left? We last left off, we had just put the axles in, so I got both axles in, but I still need to put the bolts in that hold up the half shaft on this side. We got the T-case to go up. We have everything on this side, and I still don't have my taillight in or the battery in the trunk. Everything's just sitting, so I'm gonna have to mount the battery back there. I'm not going to be Super hardcore focusing on making this car track legal right now, but that will come in a later video because I am going to run this car on the track at one point, but it's not going to be just yet. I'm not quite ready to break it again, and we're going to have a decently long clutch break-in period. I've put about seven, 800 miles on the car already this season, but we're going to have to put another like 500-ish or more. I can't remember exactly what the South Bend break-in period is. I should probably look that up. Yeah, so I'm not going to talk for too long i just want to get back into this i'd like to drive this car it is like i said freaking beautiful outside today so let's uh get this baby finished I just realized my camera's been off for a while, but T case is up, downpipes adjusted. Um, I put the bolts in for the half shaft. That's done. The slave cylinder is also hooked up. I'm probably gonna have to re bleed that though. So I gotta put the axles in the hubs. Before I do that though, I mentioned in a previous video I was having issues with my cool and temp sensor wires. So I went to go drive the car one day and it wouldn't start. ECM link was saying that my coolant temp was negative 74 degrees, I think. So I went to adjust the coolant temp sensor wires because I knew I had been having an issue with them and one of the plugs, because mine is just like two little connectors, just kind of broke off. So I got to rewire that, put some heat shrink on it, make it look all nice, because this one is like cracked in half right there. So. stopped filming for a while because I needed to get things done. I was running out of time, but voila, back together, on the ground, everything's full. We're good to go. Um, I just started it. It moves forward and backward under its own power. I'm not going to take it for a first drive yet, but, but, tonight, a couple hours, I just have somewhere to go right now, but then we are coming back and we're taking this thing for a drive because I cannot wait to drive it again. So we're going to take it out to the shop out to Matt's place. He needs help with something and we're just kind of going to get together. So we're going to take this thing for a ride tonight and I will have another person to film also. So you guys will get to come along. So I will see you in a couple hours. And we're back. All right. Time to get this thing started. Get on the road. <sighs> I can't wait to drive it. I always worry when I put this car back together that I missed something. Actually, my phone just reminded me that I need to torque my lug nuts. That's kind of funny timing. Uh, I can do that while the car's warming up, so let's get this baby started, shall we?
running. You saw it, she's moving under her own power. The clutch is stiff, definitely stiffer than the other one, but it feels very good. Uh, it's gonna take a little bit of getting used to, but obviously it's a new clutch. The housing inside of my headlight is shaking. These are eBay headlights. Everybody loves these, but these are still eBay headlights. We just took it on about uh, 20, I'd say about 20, a little over 20 miles. She did great, clutch feels good. Picked up Mike. So now we're just about to get some food at Culver's. Things are running good so far. Nothing really that I need to address right away, although has been dying when I push the clutch in, when I'm like coming to a stop, but eh, it's a DSM. So we just got our food. We we're using the cup holders that, yeah, that's awesome. You just, I told him, you can't put your arm on the armrest when you're using the cup holders. You'll crush things. Ah, 90s cars. It just doesn't get any better than this. I was editing this video and I realized that when I filmed my outro at Matt's house, I must not have had my camera rolling or something, I don't know. But it's been a few days now since I filmed that. I already have taken the car on probably another at least 120 mile cruise. That was this last weekend. The clutch feels really, really good. It grabs kind of aggressively, a little bit more than my last clutch did, which is not something I'm completely used to. The pedal feels awesome. It's stiff, but it feels really good. But yeah, the disc, I mean, it'll like lurch the car if you're not careful. So I'm still trying to figure out exactly the best way to start off in first gear with it, but everything feels absolutely perfect besides that. I haven't had to touch anything underneath the car, like tighten anything or have anything go wrong underneath of it. I'm calling that a win. I think I did a really good job putting the clutch back together and I'm really excited about that. So. Yeah, nice to have the car on the road again. I'm going on vacation here pretty soon, so content is going to be slim for a little bit, but I do have some other videos that I will be editing for you guys to still be posting while I am out of town. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Getting the car back together was not that much fun, but I'm so glad that it's finally back together because when I come back from my vacation, we have a car show that we're going to. That should end up being a really, really good Event. So anyways, thank you guys for watching. Hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't already, and I look forward to seeing you in the next one.